Hey guys, another quick tip for you today from Realistic Outdoors. This one's for tying braid onto hooks. You cannot use regular monofilament knots. They will come loose. They slip on a braid. So here's a very simple knot that won't slip and you'll be very happy with. Fold your line in half. Pass it through the eye of your hook. Now you've got two double peg ends. Make an overhand knot. Pull it down gently, now you have a loop. Put the loop over your lure, pull it back to the, to the end of the line, and then snug your tag ends. Once that's snug down, both ends, that knot will not go anywhere. And that's it, that's the whole knot. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is fold your line in half and pass it through the eye. I like to fold back at least 10 or 12 inches, and then have a tag end of at least four or five inches. It's important because when you make this overhand knot, the loop has to be big enough to pass over your hook or jig or whatever lure you're tying onto. And so once that happens, you just put the loop over the jig or hook. And just pull the tag ends tight. Now it's way easier with braid. This is lined so you can see anyway the braid will slide very nicely. Even a 120 pound braid will slide tight. And once you pull both ends tight, you just cut off the tag end and you're done. It's simple knot. Here's the knot with braid. Actually, using a 20 or 30 pound Berkeley trilene folded overhand knot over the hook. Pull tight. It's probably the fastest knot you'll ever do. do. It's it's amazing. Now here's a knot that a few years ago won the strength contest using braid and your hook. I'll pass it through once. I'll go through the second time through the eye using the tag end. Now I've made a loop. Just pull that loop tight. And then just hold the line between your fingers like this. Do one complete wrap over your fingers. Then pinch the line that goes to your rod then make five loops over the three that you've done. Three, four, five. Then pull that tag in and you'll cinch the knots together. Once that's all cinched up, then you pull your cinch knot down, trim off your tag end. That one's more complicated, but it won one of the strength contests. Give that a try. Anyway, there's that knot. Here's another quick tip. This this reel is pretty new in the market. It's a Revo MG X20. It has in it some very fine grooves. When you put on your line, the braided line, it won't spin. A lot of reels don't have this. So what I do is I just take a little piece of black tape, electrical tape, and I put it around one turn first, cut it, and then I put my my braid on top of that. That way it won't spin off the spool, especially when it's getting pulled. As per normal, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Like us on Facebook and please, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.